There is much that can be done in a battle, Chef. Let us taste what you have prepared. The combination doesn't fit. Something's off here. It's not my place to question your decisions, but the result is unbalanced. This dish only seems straightforward, but you let us discover the richness for ourselves. It's like my tongue is relaxing in a sea of flavor. Chef, please enlighten our palates with your innovative creations. It doesn't matter how well prepared it is, some flavors simply do not match. I think there's a lot to learn from this dish, and what went wrong. Looks like I'm gonna have to stop by a church because this is sinful. Nice balance, nice aroma. I like the colors on the plate. Good setup for the next course. Today, two culinary masters met to wage an all-out battle here at Kitchen Stadium. The judges have spoken. And the winner is... The challenger! There will never be enough time for me to learn all that I want to. Thank you for the opportunity. Sadly, we are at the end of our epic bout of Titans in Kitchen Stadium. The judges have laid down their decision. The winner will soon reap the fruit of victory, and we will be back for another session of true culinary greatness. I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium! about to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Oh. Iron Chef, Tony Delasante! Who's your boss, huh? Who's your boss? Under cursed breath, many a battle has been doomed before it even really started with the announcement of the secret ingredient. It has befuddled, bemused, and darn near beheaded many a stoic chef, but today's battle promises greatness. The stoic parties are assembled. The test has been prepared. Now, all we need to do is await its announcement and see whose skills are up to the test. Chairman, what have you found for us today? Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Veal! Oh. 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 
kitchen, stadium, and its theme ingredient altar are a cruel mistress indeed. Throwing a curveball at these two chefs, let us away to the cooking and see what shakes out. Production deal is frequently criticized as cruel, since the calves are kept in small corrals to reduce movement and produce better meat. Shred. Biblical references to veal consumption aren't the only ancient records we have of this ingredient. Sumerian texts from 2500 BC mention veal being a luxury item served during celebration banquets. There is very little waste or unusable product with veal, and a pound can often serve three to four people. Right. Most calves culled for veal are male calves from dairy herds. Stir. In baking, a lot of products can be classified by the method by which they are mixed. Flatten! What you're looking for in a good yeast dough is called window painting, where light can shine through a section of the stretched out dough. Chop. Veal is specifically the meat of very young cattle, not a breed or type of bovine critter. Shit. The idea is to get as much food product processed into roughly the same size as quickly as possible. Wait. One quarter has elapsed. your knuckles to guide the knife. No fingertips. You'd be sad if you did that. Slice. For a while during the dot-com era, most cubicles were smaller than the pins that veal calves are kept in, leading disgruntled workers to relabel their office areas as veal fattening pins. Slice. Cutting is defined as separating surfaces of soft solids. Say that three times fast. Slice. Recipes often call for a sauce to be boiled down until it's half of its original volume. There should be an easier way to measure that. Mix. An emulsion happens when tiny droplets of one type of liquid are suspended in another type of liquid, making a non-dairy but creamy liquid. Good. Cool. 